What uh, book has had a massive impact on you? Well, um, Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill. Uh, I actually read the first chapter of that book when I was really broke and I used it to follow my intuition and made $15,000 when I barely had gas money to drive to the potential client's house to try to get the money. So uh, it's funny because the first chapter of that book isn't even the book. It's like a like a the intro to the book where Napoleon Hill gives his backstory on where he was in his life. And he's super vulnerable about how, you know, mentally challenged he was, you know, psych psychologically challenged and how it was becoming physiologically ailing on him and how it was just like, you know, all because he didn't have money. Mm -hmm. And this, it just really resonates with not only my own life where I, you know, pulled myself out of a ditch by following what he did, but also that's a huge part of my mission is like, if you are hurting to the point of not, it's not only mentally, but it's physiologically affecting you with depression or anxiety, then, then we have a problem. And yes, we want to solve it internally, you know, by healing yourself and going into your past, but also by taking care of the finances and getting you into a place where you can be operating in abundance. So that's something that I'm just massively passionate about i love that book nice nice how about a quote that you live by uh a quote that i live by i've always said a different one until a few weeks ago uh where i was kind of riveted by this oprah interview and i'm not going to get it verbatim but it's something to the extent of god guide me for your vision is greater than my imagination can hold what will you have me do mm. and the reason i love that so much is because I'm a person where I couldn't imagine myself having a business partner because I am a little bit of a control freak. I hate to admit it, but I, I really have like, I feel like I know on a mass level, like from a 10,000 foot view what to do. And I'm thinking like, how could I give away any of that control to someone else? I'd rather just hire employees who do things way better than I could do. And then I can quote unquote work for them because you know, my employees are the people who really know what's know what to do. And I'm just here kind of like manning the controls. So what does that mean for you, the listener? To me, what that means is if you are a person that can't let go of the controls, whether that be with your art, whether that be, you know, you're a perfectionist and you want to, you know, tweak the colors on your website for 10 years before you actually <laughs> hit publish or whatever that looks like for you. Right. It's like, what if you could delegate some of that stuff, not to an employee, not to, you know, an assistant, but to the greater power, to the universe, to God, to existence. What if you could say, you know what, like the, the term is like, God, take the wheel, right? Whatever your faith is, it's regardless. It's like the idea of what if I could say, universe, can you take this for me? I'm a little overwhelmed. Can you, can you like, can you take this off of my plate? And I'll listen to you. I'm not going to just like sit and watch TV and eat popcorn. But what I am going to do is I'm going to listen. I'm going to listen for the whispers and I'm going to trust. And anything that my intuition says, I'll just listen to my gut and I'll listen to my intuition and I'll follow that. So intuition has been my savior and my guiding light in tough times. Mm, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, last question. As you know, we are rise up for you. When you hear that phrase, what does that mean to you? Mm, yeah, rise to me uh, means improving, uh, expanding, creating and finding more self-love, uh, more connection, all the great things that we strive for. Um, up obviously means in the right trajectory. <laughs> and then for you, I think, you know, as everybody says, uh, the analogy of put your own, uh, Put your own air mask on first when you're when you're in the airplane maybe that's a bad analogy for these times <laughs> right, right, right. but uh take care of yourself you know if, if if the golden goose you know isn't healthy and laying golden eggs then what what can it do for anyone else so the more we take care of ourselves the more we can take care of the world yeah absolutely well thank you so much nathan it's been awesome chatting with you today and i know our audience got a ton of of, of just information wisdom and thank you so much for sharing your story Thanks, Leanne.